Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a six box jumbo case of the brand new 2023 Top Series 2 Baseball. This is Pick Your Team number four. This just dropped yesterday. Got a wax party invite to give away at the end. All card ship. A lot of great stuff here, so let's get on with it. Big thanks to this group for making it happen here on a Thursday. Pick Your Team number four, Frank, with I think quadruple last spot in Mojo, buying the final four teams. And there's the goal. We're, I was just going to say, we've got overtime in hockey, one of the more exciting things in sports. And Florida gets the goal in OT, saving their season. It would have gone down 0-3. Now it's 1-2. Florida's going to make a series of it. The rats are on the ice. Yeah, I know. Yeah, and then all of a sudden they'll start rolling. <laughs> and then you're like, holy crap, that's how they beat all these teams when they, no one expected them to. Yeah. It was a little bit screened up, but still. Oh. Gilo's reporting that Mahomes just put his house up for sale. You're gonna wait for the filler for it. It'd be a, still be a, probably a pretty pricey filler. Where is he moving? Where is he gonna, is he gonna buy a house in a, maybe he's gonna buy a house in Las Vegas and then the rumors will start that he's gonna go play for the Raiders. Here's Big Boppy. Uh, I'll put these right here. And there are the silver packs right here. Put, put that around, you can see on the top camera up there. All right, well, good job, Florida Panthers. Big dub for them. The crowd would, in this overtime, they were looking very nervous. I think people were still in their seats. Not a lot of noise until the very end. Worth three million, but doesn't look like it. it. Looks looks like more or less. Not sure what what direction you're going with that statement. Oh, it's worth three million, but doesn't look like it. It looks looks less than three million. <laughs> sounds like a sounds like a house in Manhattan Beach. We got Sutsugo, and we got a Shohei Otani, 190 out of 300. Showtime. That's going to go to the Halos, David, with the Angels. I guess we'll top load it. I don't know, I don't know what non-rookie Shohei Otani cards go for on the secondary market, though. Shohei Otani, do-do-do-do-do-do. Like we had like three personals of this yesterday. <laughs> oh boy, are you, are you sick of it already? Uh, it's okay. It's funny. Chad, <laughs> no, it's a Chad was like, uh, Chad was like, uh, have you ripped any hobby boxes today? Because we put a hobby up there. 
I was oh, like, there's hobbies? I was like, no, and I hope we never do. <laughs> <laughs> it was a joke. He's like, oh, I don't want to buy one no more. <laughs> I was like, I'm just joking. There, there's Yoshida. You might have a double header for you tomorrow. Yeah, we only have a, I think we only have a hobby case, though. It's not like a lot. Jumbos aren't bad, actually. No, jumbos aren't that bad. It's just a lot of cards, but other than that, it's pretty fast. There's James Altman. Went one for two, a couple walks today. Maybe he's getting the season back on track. We got Gold Bryce Wilson, and we've got a autograph. It's going to be Miles Mastro Buoni. Buoni. Mastro Buoni. Miles is going to go to the Rays. That's going to go to Tristan. One, 21 out of 199. And we'll obviously we'll do an autograph recap at the end. What? Must have been traded, right? On November, uh, no, I can't spit that out. On November fifteenth, twenty twenty-two, the Rays traded Mastroboni to the Chicago Cubs for pitcher Alfredo Zaraga. Looks like the the autos, or that particular auto anyway, is for his old team, but his cards are, other cards are for his new team, current team. I don't know where he's going, but there's much luxury out here for him. I don't know, maybe, sounds like a, uh, Here's the Brew Crew right here, and here's Geraldo Perdomo to 2023 for Tristan. I mean, sounds like he's pretty, uh, he's getting involved in a lot of different things, Gilo. Maybe he could be a real estate baron and start a new neighborhood. A super private new neighborhood. Maybe he'll, maybe he'll, I'm just looking at a map. Blue Springs sounds nice. Maybe he'll, uh, maybe he'll buy some land in Atherton. Seems like a nice wooded area out there and carve out a, carve out a community there. An exclusive community. Trout building a golf course, maybe. Uh, my trout building a golf course, maybe. Mahomes wants to build a little golf course community out there. I actually think that's what uh, the recent tour stop. The recent last weekend's PGA Tour was at Muirfield Village, which I think that's to seventy-five. Dansby Swanson for the Cubs. It's for Chris. Oh, you live in Blue Springs. Oh, maybe that's why my eye went to that. <laughs> Just sounds like a pleasant name. I'll bet you guys are big, uh, big rivals with Green Springs. Here all week, folks. Actually, I'm not here all week. This today's my Friday. I'm not here all week. But I think Muirfield Village in Ohio? I forget where that... This week's tournament is in Canada, but... I think... Was it Jack Nicholas? maybe? D designed that course. Um, and a planned community around there, too. And apparently it's really nice. All right. There is Jesus Aguilar, 126 out of 499 for the A's. That'll be for Tristan.
The small, rich neighborhood around here, around there, you went to school with Neil Smith's daughter. She nice? The school bus picked her up right in front of the house. There's an Anthony Volpe, gold. Nice rookie card for Matt Smith and the Yankees. Speaking of Smiths, Anthony Volpe, you could consider him a speed Smith. Another Altman. She was nice. Time was well raised. Good. That's good to hear. Not like, not like Gretzky's kids. Who's on a, who's on the TNT post game show? And I think there's there's rumors of. I think Vince Scully's like grandkids or something like that apparently are are Hellraisers. Here's a nice uh, Francisco Alvarez to 2023. Nice, good to see numbers on these uh, top tier rookies here. That's gonna go to James and the Mets. There you go, James. <laughs> Parent teacher conferences. He could barely fit through doorways. Yeah, Neil Smith was a, uh, was, a, was a big dude. Got Drew Waters, silver. And we got a Brett Beatty, relic. Major League rookie material. That's going to go to James and the Mets. One autograph, two relics per box on average. These will obviously go to the teams that they're currently on. Got a Corbin Carroll for Tristan and the Diamondbacks. We were looking yesterday. I think he's the currently the odds-on favorite to win NL Rookie of the Year. Batting average, commemorative patch, Willie Mays, Giants, Lucas with San Francisco. Another Volpe. One done. Uh, let's see. I think there's an Angel game happening here. Now that this hockey game is over, Cubs at Angels. I think that's the only game happening tonight.
Cubs are up three. No, Angels are up three one. Top of the seventh. And we've got ooh an autograph. We got a White Sox Lenyon Sosa. Rookie autograph for EA and the White Sox. Yeah, these silver packs can have some surprises like this. Sometimes numbered cards and sometimes autographs. That's the two ninety nine. Got some record breakers here. Mariano Rivera breaking records. Ah, pretty good. He's pretty, pretty good. Speaking of the Angels, is it time to dust off your Joe Adele? He hit a home run today. Got called up today, hit a home run. I think uh, someone, one of the Angels players on, a, on the paternity list, and Joe Adele got the call up and made the most of it today. Before that, before that home run, I was saying on the stream, I was like, man, is Joe Adele, is he, are we putting him on the bust list? No, he responded with a homer. He said, F you, Joe Jaspi. <laughs> Logan saying every dog has his day. Maybe it's one of those things. We'll see. Chiming in saying he absolutely crushed that home run. 117 exit velo off the bat and 451 feet. Ooh. So they'll show a replay of that at some point. Got Moose, Mike Moussakis for the Reds. Lou Gehrig. Trout's over three. I'm sure he wants to do something with this. Yeah, there's Victor Robles. I do remember when Victor Robles was all the rage. A lot of hope and promise for him. And then they called up the impossibly young Juan Soto and then never looked back. We've got Michael Ciani. Rookie auto for the Reds. We're on to Cincinnati. It's going to go to Patrick. And another Francisco Alvarez to 2023. Nice. 
Right, it's for James and the Mets. Walked him. I'm scared to pitch to uh, Trout. Christian Walker, and to 50, Daniel Bard. Forty one out of fifty, and that's for Colorado, that's for Kevin. For Matt and the Yankees, Yoshida's are all going to James and the Red Sox. All the Jordan Walkers going to EA and the Cardinals. Corbin Carroll is going to Tristan and the Diamondbacks. Usniel Diaz for the Dodgers, a Lurie Garcia to 2023. That's for the White Sox. Skull saying Matt Walner a sleeper in this. Love his game, he says. You know, that's there's a lot of great rookies here. I mean, can't sleeve all of them. We've just identified some of the upper tier ones, but there are some some guys on the next tier that are that could also, you know, develop into into some to a great player. Little Francisco Alvarez for James and the Mets. I feel like there's a lot of strong names in this rookie class. There's Austin Riley. Yeah, Josh Young's another one of those guys. Austin Riley for Zach and the Braves. There's that uh, that Oakland speedster, Estuary Ruiz. I mean, he could steal 100 bases this year. I think he's already got 30. When's the last time we had a hundred base stealer? Yeah, Fujinami. And an Albert Pujols home run RBI leader commemorative patch for EA and the Cardinals.
Nick Senzel. Nick Senzel's teammate Spencer Steer, also another red player that's been hitting really well this year. Jason Poulton, Esther Ruiz in Series 1. You still have it? You didn't think it'd be worth anything when Jason pulled him. Oh, he was a brewer? Yeah, he has 29 stolen bases. Hitting 260, one home run, 25 RBIs, 26 runs scored, 29 stolen bases. Where are we? June, June 8th. I mean, he might not be, one of, again, not one of those top-tier rookies, but I mean, he's probably worth more than he was back when we first pulled it. Nice. J-Rod, he's pretty good. Oh, there's Joe Adele up to bat. Show us the homer. I think they're going to show me the homer. No, I'm a Dodgers fan. I'm a fan of baseball, and it's the only thing on right now. <laughs> There's no other live sports on. You know, we're talking about Josh Young. He could be one of the could be one of those guys, possible Rookie of the Year award winner. Steve Carlton. Nice. Phillies legend going to Michael and the Phillies. <laughs> I, I assumed I, I, I assumed uh, Skull is uh, is new here if he's asking that question. We'll cut him some slack, James. This time.
Yeah, Kenta Maeda was a was a player that I wish wish the Dodgers would have kept actually. But I just don't think the Dodgers in the way that rotation was was constructed. I don't think he was gonna get he was gonna be a regular starter. It's Brian Reynolds twenty two although now now with all the injuries to the Dodgers rotation. But yeah, but I think he went. He went to uh, went to somewhere where he could get some starts. I think that's good. It's good for him. Brian Reynolds to twenty twenty three for the Pirates. That'll be for Tristan. Yeah, no, no, no love for those second tier teams, right? Second or third tier teams. Yeah, they're always going to be getting something. There's Dalbeck, and there is Spencer Strider, and the Black Border Tampa Bay Rays to 72. Tristan in Tampa Bay. We'll save one of those Spencer Steers. He's having a nice season. Patrick with Cincinnati. Alec Thomas. Suarez. Yeah, they really do. I, the Reds really do have some promising youngsters. Yeah, that yeah, that Collier kid is 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 in the works in the farm system too. Yeah, what a saga that was. That Carlos Correa saga. Skull saying, I can't believe every day that Carlos Correa is a twin. And for a while, too. And here's Josh Young to 2023. James and the Rangers. Outman. There's, the, there's another red, Will Benson, who hit the walk-off against my Dodgers the other night. Collier comp is Rafael Devers and Jose Ramirez. Wow. And Jose Ramirez, his first three at bats today, homers. It's Kyle Freeland and Oswald Peraza, rookie relic for Matt and the Yankees. Jordan Walker, Anthony Volpe, Bryce, what's going on? How bad do you think the Rangers falter without Jacob DeGrom? 
Well, the thing is, they're 40 and 21 without Jacob DeGrom. They haven't had him for most of the season. So I, I, I feel like they're, they're going to be just fine. I mean, Jacob DeGrom made, what, just six starts this year? Two wins? You know, so I, I, I don't think they're going to... I'm sure they'd love to have him, but they're certainly, at the moment, not missing him. Here's Ted Williams, two ninety nine triple crown relic. Oh yeah, no worries, Bryce. Awesome setup. Appreciate you coming in. Thank you. Glad you enjoy the setup. Francisco Alvarez. There's Lance Lynn, silver. All right, we are halfway through this jumbo case. James is wondering, Skull, do you think the Cray would have a major, will have a major injury like the Mets and Giants are predicting? I think there's some outs on that contract, James. So I guess Minnesota's thinking the same thing too, but they've protected themselves on that. And they paid him a lot less money than the other two two initial offers. There's going to be, there has to be some sort of ESPN E60 or some Netflix documentary or something like that. Some, you know, there's Juan Soto for the Padres. Some sort of podcast series that breaks down all the drama and talks to all the insiders and all that sort of stuff. I think that 30 for 30, something like that. Biggest contract in Twins history. And the Twins are doing pretty good too. They're, they're one and a half games ahead of the Guardians. They've lost five in a row, but even, even then, that just shows you how, how well they were doing because they're still at one and a half games ahead. A barred super short print for Colorado. Nice, good eye. Super short. Usually, the previous years they flip these around, but but yeah, definitely looks different from all the regular ones. Colorado, Ke oh, that's for you, Kevin. Good eye. Especially when it's for you. Yeah, no worries, Kevin. All card chip, though, ladies and gentlemen. So I still would have ended up with Kevin, but it's better that we better that we find that stuff now, though.
But Skull thinks he's going to be he's going to be just fine. So according to Cot's contract, it's a six-year, two hundred million dollar deal. Eight million dollar signing bonus. So 23 is guaranteed, 2024, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28 is guaranteed. And then 29, 30, 31, 32 is a club option. Now these options are guaranteed based on plate appearances in the previous year. Starting at 575 in 2028, 550 plate appearances, appearances in 2029. 525 and 2030 and 502 and 2031. Options may also be guaranteed based on awards in previous years. MV top five finish in MVP, Silver Slugger, World Series MVP, or LCS MVP. Yeah, the last 29, 30, 31, 32. So it's a 10-year deal, but six are guaranteed, and there's four years of club options based on plate appearances or award finishes. Full no trade protection as well. So there's some protections there. You know? There's Josh Harrison, at least on the back end of that deal, which is what everyone's worried about. So first six guaranteed, which is not bad, and then another four more years of options. And, the, and I mean, they're only based on off of plate appearances, but hey, if he gets 575 plate appearances, that means he's healthy, means he's doing well. Now, I don't know what happens if he doesn't get those plate appearances. I guess they could decline the club option. And then is he a free agent after that? Or I, I'm assuming that's what that is. Or I suppose if he has 570 plate appearances, I'm sure they can just still pick up the club option. Right? Yeah, because they're options. But they're only guaranteed if they're players, so they can still do it, yeah. So they, they gave themselves a lot of great flexibility there. Good on them. All these James Outmans going to Ryan G. And there's a Luis Ortiz autograph, rookie auto. Pirates, that's going to go to Tristan and the Buckos. Different Anthony for the Yankees. Yeah, I was surprised as well. I didn't think Carlos Correa, you know, I don't know. Maybe maybe the Astros had the same injury concerns. But I thought that sort of Bregman, Correa, Altuve trio, I thought that would be the core. Nice rookie silver, James Altman. For Ryan and the Dodgers. And there is Brian Reynolds to 2023. But yeah, I thought I thought those three players would be locked up and be the core of that team for a long time, but it's not. Can't pay everybody. I mean you can, I guess, but I'll save one of those Estuary Ruizes, too. Another Jordan Walker for EA and the Cardinals. Twenty-nine stolen bases already as of June 8th, 2023. Wild.
Ryan Anderson, Freddie Freeman. What is that? April, May? About 15 stolen bases a month. Around there. Or approximately six months in a season. That's about 90 bags. Is there really? They're going to let Bregman walk too? Dalton Varsho. Another James Altman. And I guess the Astros do have a pretty good pretty good farm system. They can start, you know, weaving prospects in and, and cycling older, pricier players out. We got nice gold Masataka Yoshida. That's for you, James. Boston Red Sox. That's the kind of stuff we're looking for here. Get these grayed out nicely. Dot dot dot. Michael Brantley to 2023. Nick with the Astros. Francisco Alvarez and that old school uh, late 80s design there. It's also for James and the Mets. Here is Carson Kelly. And a relic card, Ricky Henderson, speaking of steals. The man of steel. I think Yoshida, James, we looked this up yesterday. I don't know I don't know if we were around when we were talking about it, but he is the favorite for AL Rookie of the Year at the moment. It's Johnny Cueto for the Marlins. And we've got a silver slugger relic, Jose Ramirez, 83 out of 399. First three at-bats today, Thursday, June 8, 2023, three home runs. Pretty nice. I think he's. I think he had another uh, at bat or two. No, no home runs there, but it's a nice way to start the game. Another Volpe. Ah, I see. But yeah, it's pretty good. 
Padres. Got some steals, stolen base stats for you. So we were talking about Estuary Ruiz. We just saw Ricky Henderson. Here's Alec Manoa. Hopefully he gets things back on track. 93 out of 99. That's for Austin and the Blue Jays. Some baseball breaks need a pitch clock. Be glad that we're not doing the double header, Chilo. I suppose next time you see Nick Jaspi, you can tell him, hey, you want to do, uh, do like half case breaks instead? But I don't know, sometimes with these longer breaks, you just kind of want to just knock out the case just all at once and not do like, like a, this, not do this like jumbo case like two boxes at a time. So, so, like we were saying, Estuary Ruiz has, already has 29 stolen bases this year. Believe it or not, Acuna Jr. has 28, Wander Franco 21, Bobby Witt 19, Corbin Carroll 18 stolen bases. So, a lot of young speedsters out there. Last year, now obviously, the pitch clock, the times you can throw to the, a base, and the, those slightly larger bases obviously help those numbers, but last year, the stolen base leader was John Birdie with 41. That's gonna get obliterated. Starling Marte had 47, led the league with 47 back in 2021. Back in 2020, oh, 2020 was a shortened year, but Adalberto Montes, he had 24. In 2019, remember Malik Smith? He had 46 stolen bases. 2018, Whit Merrifield had 45. D. Gordon, had 60 in 2017. Villar, Jonathan Villar had 62 in 2016. D. Gordon again, 58 stolen bases in 2015. 64 in 2014. Jacoby Ellsbury, we're going way back. In 2013, Jacoby Ellsbury had 52 stolen bases. In 2012, Trout had 49 stolen bases. They don't let him see like that anymore. That year is probably his best chance I'm looking back. I'm trying to see when the last 100 stolen base year was. Michael Bourne, 61. Juan Pierre, 68. Ellsbury at 70 in 2009. Willie Tavares, 68. Jose Reyes, 78. Reyes, 64. Sean Figgins, 62. Juan Pierre, 65. 1998, Ricky Henderson with 66 stolen bases. He must have been like in his mid-40s. Lofton at 75 and 96. Marquise Grissom at 78 in 1992. Ricky Henderson had 93 in 1988. You have to go all the way back to 1987, where Vince Coleman had 109 stolen bases. Think about this. Estuary Ruiz, as of... June 8th, 2023, already has 29 stolen bases. Using just, I was doing some back of the napkin math a little bit ago. It's Ken Griffey Jr., home run leaders to 299. And I think he's on pace for about, Estuary Ruiz is on pace for about 90 stolen bases with little luck, you know, a hot week or two. He might be looking, he might be thinking about a hundred, hundred steel season, which would be kind of incredible. I wonder if that milestone, especially if the rest of the rookies in the AL, they sort of kind of blend together stats wise or tail off a little bit. I wonder if that means, you know, if a hundred stolen bases.
You know, I wonder if Hunter Small Base will get you a Rookie of the Year. Here's the autograph. It is Spencer Steer. We were just talking about him. He's on my fantasy team. He's playing pretty well. Cincinnati Reds, Patrick, we're on Cincinnati. Bryce is asking, how do you how do you think Jose Fernandez would have fared if he didn't die in that boating accident? Yeah. Um it's one of the sadder stories. The more unfortunate tragedies there. Yeah, I think he I mean he was already look at the numbers. What just in what three or four seasons? Right? Thirty eight wins, seventeen losses, a two five eight ERA, five hundred and eighty nine strikeouts in four hundred and seventy one innings. I mean, he was he would average about 260 strikeouts a season with those with his career stats. I mean, Kiki Hernandez, Wisniewski to 2023, Jose Miranda to 4.99. Yeah, and he was only 23 years old. I mean, he might have he might have had a lot of a lot of fastest too x amount of strikeouts. I mean that that would have been a regular conversation, fastest two. youngest person too, et cetera, et cetera. You know, could have been that kind of career. What is this? Oh, nice. Home field advantage, Salvador Perez. That's a sharp looking card. Now, I don't know if Gabe is still listening. Gilo, is this what is this what Kansas City looks like? I mean, these aren't even case hits, James. These are even shorter printed than that. I've not seen any die cuts in here either. I think this is what Kansas City looks like. What's that tower, right? What's that tower, Gilo? A, uh, a Native American there, looking out into the distance. That's a cool looking car, though. That's going to go to Franklin and the Royals. Yeah, Gilo confirmed. Gilo's in Kansas City. That's exactly what, what home field looks like. More Royals right there, they're celebrating. They're having a good time. Liberty Memorial. A scout statue in the Kaufman Center. Kaufman Center, that's what the other one. Jesus Aguilar, gold. Ah, Liberty Memorial is where the draft was at. Wait, I thought the draft was the train station. Or is the train station called Liberty Memorial? Or is are they at the same place? The memorial and the train station. I 
to watch. Do not need to watch the Angels post game show with Mark Gubiza and someone else. Remember Mark Gubiza? Watch some golf. Uh, the Memorial overlooks Union Station. I got it. Kodai Senga to 2023. Mets, James. EA, Jordan Walker, and Matt Smith, you're going to get that Anthony Volpe. Got a Ryan Kreidler and a relic card of Ronald Acuna Jr., piece of his prodigious lumber. 93 out of 199. Can he, can he go 40-40 this season? Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? 40-40. Now he's got... He's got 12 homers and 28 stolen bases. His career high in homers is 41 in his second year, second, in his second full season? Yeah, 2019. He got close. He had 41 homers and 37 stolen bases that year. Nine caught stealing. He would have been right there if a few of those times weren't caught stealing. But this is his best bid for a 40-40 season in a long time. He's got to pick up the homers, though, a little bit. Got to pick up the homer pace a bit. If I'm Ronald Acuna Jr., I would just get to, to 40 stolen bases as quickly as possible. Stop thinking about stolen bases and then just keep hitting for, uh, for, for homers. No, actually, he's on a playoff team. He's not doing that. He's going to do whatever helps the team win. I don't know. There's the old, uh, there's Aaron Judge, by the way, from Matt Smith and the Yankees. There's the old, uh, what's the old economics thing? Adam Smith, I think. <laughs> the economist said that if everyone acts in their best interest for their own good, that event that it will ultimately be for the good of the entire society. So if everyone if everyone is a good actor in in economics, All right? Sometimes you got to be selfish, right, James? I mean, if he's hitting, if he's going forty forty on the season, that probably mean, that probably means that uh, that probably means he's gonna probably means that they're gonna be winning a lot of games. All right, final box coming up after these silver packs. Definitely dragging a little bit on this break here at the end of my work week. There you go. Yeah, maybe get the steals in seventh, ninth. <laughs> Just pad those stats. Get those. Yeah, get those Westbrooks. The Westbrook triple double. Cal Ripken Jr. Record breaking.
<laughs> that's true. What was it? What was the team the last year or two where they would always they had like a little bit of beef with each other? Was it the Marlins? I think. Like Marlins pitchers kept throwing at like Acuna and Ozzy Albies' head. And there was a bit of drama for a couple of weeks because they they played like a few in Atlanta and then they played a few in in Miami the week later. The Westbrook Triple Double sounds like the name of a cheeseburger. It kind of does. I mean, if, if, you know, I think Westbrook has a head for business. Maybe he, uh, maybe he buys a, a burger franchise or something. Maybe Fat Burger or something like that. Oh, maybe it was the NL Central. I forget. Ball players don't. Ball players carry grudges. Who was that one dude? I, was it Hunter Strickland of the Giants? But like years before, when he was on a different team, I think he gave up some sort of home run or walk off to Bryce Harper. And then years later. <laughs> Years later, and I think this was in San Francisco. It was a close game. Giants had a narrow lead. Bryce Harper came up. I think it was Hunter Strickland. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. Someone in the chat will know. <laughs> and like threw at Bryce Harper. And... Uh, Got himself ejected. I don't know what it, what the result of the game was, but ended up getting himself ejected and benches cleared and there was a bit of a brawl and Price Harper was like, what, 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 the, what the hell were you doing? And, and then he was bringing up beef from like three or four seasons ago. There's the Tampa Bay Rays to 199. And I maybe I saw a John Boy breakdown of this. As well, which I thought was also... I remember the incident and, and the and the, then the video. Is that Hunter Strickland right here? With the Giants? I think Buster Posey was still on that team. And, um, and the video, it's kind of funny because it looked like... It looked... Yeah, Hunter Strickland was a weird guy, right? If you watch that, if you watch the video, look at what Buster Posey is doing. It almost seems like Hunter Strickland was like, if I get in this game I'm, and I see Bryce Harper, I'm plunking him. And everyone's like, nah, don't do that. No, nah, I'm gonna. Like, he, he, was, he was out to get Bryce. I'm, I'm totally gonna. His nice autograph. It is Shane Bieber. Nice. Numbered 30 out of 50. But Bryce Harper, when, once the bench starts to clear, he is very slow to get up out of the crouch and saunters over there. He's just like, I told you guys. I told you not to. Shane Bieber for the Guardians. Adam Bernstein with, with the Guardians. Cleveland, this is for you. I don't know, maybe if you're Hunter Strickland, you're the kind of guy that just needs to invent these or just create larger beefs in your head just to just to get jacked up, just to get fired up. There's Zach Wheeler and there's Kyle Shorber for the Phillies to 2023. It'll be for Michael. Did he get in an argument with Salvador Perez? Yeah, probably one of the one of the nicer guys. Major League Baseball. It's like getting in an argument with like Joey Votto or Freddie Freeman or something like that.
maybe in these longer breaks, Gilo, like this, I should I should invent like a beef with you and just argue throughout the course of the might Probably would be entertaining, it would go faster. It would just it would feel like it would go faster. There's Emmanuel Rivera. We got Harry Ford. I just want to see someone repeat the Chano Park kick in a benches clearing brawl. Yeah, I remember that. He he uh. He must have had a. He must have had some. Uh, what's the martial art in Korean? Korean, as am I. Uh, taekwondo, would be the uh, would be the martial art. Must have had some training there, because because once the once the benches were clearing, I felt like he went to ground pretty quickly. He was using those powerful legs. He had huge legs. Chad Dawes says, I, oh, Chad Daw was saying I could beef with him anytime. What kind of beef? Would it be ribeye? Would it be on the bone? Maybe a T-bone? Can we, can we T-bone? Can we skirt steak? Can we skirt? Can we New York strip? That's a lot of good beef out there. I'll beef with you. Steakhouse? Maybe a backyard grill? Newman. Kevin Newman to 2023. Maybe some smoked brisket. Maybe a tri-tip. And there, there's a place just north of Santa Barbara on the way to Solvang where uh, it's called Coldwater Tavern or something like that. Where they, where, where they, they are... They've got a, a oil barrel. They might still have. They might they have an oil drum, you know those big oil barrel kind of grills out there, just making delicious, delicious tri-tip sandwiches. Just grilling them fresh. Mmm, mmm. On some great bread, a little bit of fries, some slaw, barbecue sauce. Ooh. There's Shea Langliers. Oh, you had tri-tip nachos at Petco. Best nachos you've ever had. I mean, is that because you're in Seattle? Like, how much? How many? How many? How much? How much good nachos could be in Seattle? Do they even know about nachos in Seattle? I mean, it's just, it's just coffee and truffles and, uh, and the fish they throw around at that place. There's a kill Badu and home run leader Mark McGuire. Yeah, he could hit him. Our nachos suck, but our teriyaki is off the hook, I would imagine. A good sushi scene out there, I would imagine. A lot of fresh fish there. I think a big Japanese population in Seattle, I want to say. Didn't, uh, don't Nintendo have a North American headquarter up there? Bryce remembers some great garlic fries at the Mariner Stadium. Was it at the Kingdom?
Got a green Drew Waters to four ninety nine. That's for Franklin and the Royals. Mariners are famous for garlic fries, but you feel like they're kind of played out. I do love some garlic fries. Just some fresh garlic right on top of some fries. Ooh. gilo has been there and have had the garlic fries. My goodness. Oh man, if you guys have a crab sandwich? I want a crab sandwich. I'm gonna go to Jameis Winston's house. We're gonna have some crab legs together. Do love crab legs. Do love these group breaks, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for filling them up. Uh, before I do a recap, we're gonna give away that wax party spot. One invite being given away. Let's flip over here. Let's gather everyone's names, Tristan down to Franklin and everyone in between. One through 30, control C, control V, and let's roll and rando seven times. One and a six, six and a one, seven times. Good luck, one, two, three, four, five, six, and a one. Seventh and final time, after seven. Good luck, everybody. Only one happy person on this list. Everyone else is sad, oh, especially Zach. Very close, Zach, but not this time. We'll get him next time. But like I said, there can be only one. Just like what was the old show where they could be only one? Not the Jedi, because there's not a Sith Lord. Highlander. Remember Highlander? Highlander, Highlander, or Highlander? Anyway, there can be only one like the Highlander. Franklin, there you go. Last spot mojo coming in handy. Thanks for getting in on it. You've got a wax party invite. Check out the details on the website, jazbeescasebreaks.com. A lot of really cool stuff on that list. I'm Joe. I'll see everyone next time for the next one. Quick recap, almost forgot. Got a nice Spencer Steer, some Ricky Henderson, Yoshida Gold, Altman Silver, the Daniel Bar, that's a super short print. Some nice relics, this is a good break. Josh Young, Steve Carlton autograph, Francisco Alvarez, bronze or copper border. Got an autograph out of the silver packs. Mm. Volpe Gold, Otani to 300. And of course, the home field advantage, Salvador Perez. Nice. Thanks again, everybody. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.